Hi everybody, it's Kara. I wanted to show you the first um, altered item that I made. Um, if you've been watching my videos, you know that a few days ago I received um, my some swap goodies in the mail and a friend over on Mini Album Scraps had um, altered a wooden, a little wooden purse for me, which was absolutely adorable. If you haven't seen that video, you should check it out. Brandy made it for me and she does really gorgeous work. And it just happened to coincide with me having bought a couple uh, paper mache purses. So um, I used, I thought of that as a sign and I decided I was going to go ahead and decorate one of them, get brave and do some altered art. So I wanted to share that. Here is my first attempt at altered art in the form of a paper mache purse. And I'm gonna probably tip the tripod a couple times so you can see it. That's the front. I'm still doing a few um, Valentine's Day project. So this is another one. And that's the back. Um, as you can tell, I painted the whole thing this really pretty kind of gold, vintagey gold color. I used that lace technique. And sorry for the shadows, guys. My lighting is not the best today. Anyway, I used that technique for the lace um, that I used on the album covers, except for I used the really light colored kind of creamy lace. Um, Mod Podged over it after the paint had time to dry. And this is several coats of paint, probably three or four, because um, I wanted a nice even coat of the gold. Then on the front, what I did, again, after the paint dried, I took um, this pink paisley paper, which I believe is the butterfly garden paper, cut it into strips, crinkled it up, kind of un you know, crinkled it, unraveled it a little bit, and then I spritzed all over it with my homemade um, Perfect Pearl mist, which is just this. It's the water and the Perfect Pearl in the white. Um, sprayed that again really well. I got it really, really wet. Crinkled it up a little bit, ripped a lot of it. Kind of just distressed the heck out of it while it was wet. Um, opened it up and let it get to where it was just slightly damp. And then I used this liquid adhesive Scotch Quick Dry, and I ripped and um, glued down all of the paper, various pieces, various colors, all over the place. And then I let it get really dry, um, well, almost completely dry. Then I used my Tim Holtz sander and sanded off some of the edges and kind of distressed it up again, and then set it aside for a little bit and let it get really, really dry. I used Victorian velvet and antique linen um, distress ink and you know added some of that all around and then when all of that had a chance to sit for a little bit I put Mod Podge over the entire thing. Um, a pretty good coat and this time normally I try not to have any kind of streaks or anything in that but um, and I don't know that you're gonna be able to see this but I did actually kind of do a pattern on this. I swirled it um, when I was putting it on and I put a pretty, <laughs> sorry, I put a pretty thick coat on it, swirled it around and let it dry. Once it was really dry, then I added all the embellishments that you could, that you see. And I really wanted to build this purse, you know, kind of create it around this flower. Cause I just love this flower. This is the, one of the first ones, um, the first lace and felt ones that I received from Cat Scrappiness, and it's just gorgeous. And the second that I saw it, I just thought it looked very vintage, um, and I wanted the opportunity to use it. So I kind of built this purse or made this purse around it because I knew I wanted to use it. So um, behind the flower on either side, it actually goes all the way around, it's a corner piece, is one of those heart flourishes from, I think it's Kaiser Craft. And then these are just some strings of pearls that I attached again behind the flower to hang down, top and bottom. And then over here, this little uh, ruler is Maya Road. And these two leaves are Prima, as is this little heart locket that I attached. And this really pretty little stick pin was actually given to me by one of my crafty friends over at Mini Album Scraps, April. So thank you, April, it fit perfect, I love it. Um, and then this image I just found online, printed off on white paper and just thought it kind of went with the vintage Valentine's theme. And uh, this handle 
was already done like this, so I just thought it was kind of a perfect match. So let me pull this back. There it is, my first little attempt at altered art. Um, it will be a gift for someone, I'm just not sure who yet. I was really pleased with it, so I hope you guys like it. Um, let me know if you have any comments or questions. Um, sorry for the stuttering over the words, it's been a long day. Um, as always, thanks for watching, and I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. Bye.